Hey there, this video is going to be super sparkly because I'm painting the golden toad for the Animal Artists Collective. Our theme in the Animal Artists Collective this month is extinct animals and I'm so excited for this theme because there are going to be super different animals in there because obviously a lot of species are extinct and I wanted to pick an animal that hasn't been extinct for that long. The Animal Artist Collective is a group of artists who come together every other month and we create art pieces based on themes and for animal conservation. So when selling this piece, I'm going to donate 50% of the profit to the Worldwide Fund because the Golden Toad used to live in the rainforest and the Worldwide Fund has a lot of projects in the rainforest and I really want to help animal conservation there. The rainforest is really a topic that's near and dear to my heart and it hurts me so much that we're really killing a lot of animals there and just killing the whole rainforest. So this episode is kind of emotional for me because on one hand I think that, to be honest, I think that that piece is one of the best art pieces that I've ever created. I really love this piece so so much and on the other hand it makes me so sad that these beautiful creatures are extinct and that they are no longer on this earth. So this makes me happy and sad at the same time and yeah, to say a little bit about the piece, I used masking fluid at first and then I painted around it and made the background first and I really love how the background turned out in the end even though it had an ugly stage. You can see it here, I think it looked kind of ugly in between but in the end it turned out really cool cool so but then i removed the masking fluid you will see that in a few seconds and ah, this paper is amazing it's the hannah Müller watercolor paper i think it's 300 gsm and it's amazing but it hates masking fluid or the masking fluid hates the paper i don't know but they don't really get along with each other because when i removed the masking fluid it ripped the paper and um i'm really glad that the golden toad has textured skin so you can't really see it that much you absolutely can't see it in the finished piece but it was harder to work on, of course, on the ripped paper. But the paper was still awesome. I don't know how this paper does it, but even though it's... Yeah, you can see it here. Even though it's ripped, it was still awesome. It was a bit harder, but okay. I'm not gonna combine masking fluid and this paper again, though. But I am gonna link all the products that I use down below because I really do recommend them individually. Just don't combine these two. So why did I pick the Golden Toad? Uh, it is. It hasn't been extinct for that long and after people discovered them about 20 years later they were extinct already so that's kind of sad and they soon became a landmark for amphibians dying in the rainforest because amphibians die pretty early on when there's climate change so they're a really good indicator for that it makes me so sad that humans destroy the rainforests and therefore destroy animals and yeah so if you really like this piece then consider buying the original i think it looks awesome i'm so proud of this one and i hope it gets an awesome owner so if you buy this piece i hope you're an awesome person i know you're an awesome person so um that i can donate a lot of money or at least a little bit of money to the worldwide fund because they do a lot for the rainforest conservation 
So um, these probably went extinct because the temperatures rose in the rainforest and then there was this super cool toxic fungus that killed them all. So that's a bummer. <laughs> but they were an incredible species. They were awesome because I think they're kind of magical. Of course, I love magical creatures because they came on a land or above ground um, just once a year for about two weeks or something like that, just a few days. And the whole year around, they spent their time underneath the ground and you couldn't see them. And then just once a year, they were there to mate. And the males are these beautiful golden ones. And the females were a bit larger, had more colors, but they weren't as bright. So I decided to paint the males because they were the golden ones. And I also wanted to use my golden paint that I got at the Creative World Fair. That's a paint from Crema Pigmente where you can buy pigments and then you can make your own watercolor. So I really don't know what kind of binder they used in this watercolor or how they made it, but it's super pigmented and it's so shiny and I love it so much. I lost a lot of contrast when I put on the paint and when then I had to get the contrast back in, but it was totally worth it because it's so sparkly now and uh, yeah, I, I just love it. I have a lot of love for this piece. So if you buy it, I hope you love it as much as I do and I hope it gets a nice home. And yeah, if you can't afford to buy this piece, you can still do a lot for the rainforest because we all play a huge part in this. We're all in this together. So I recently found out that a lot of palm oil is in our fuel. So I'm gonna try to drive a little bit less now, I guess, and look for palm oil because palm oil destroys the rainforest. And also just reduce your consumption as far as you can and just think about what you're doing. Eat less meat and Maybe research a little bit and see what you can do because we can all do something even if it's a little thing. Buy less plastic. I don't know anything to save our rainforest because it hurts me so much to see that we as humans destroy them, destroy so many species and cool and awesome species like the golden toad go extinct and they're no longer there and they will never ever come back there's a tiny tiny chance that they still exist but they probably don't <laughs> that's so sad but i think it turned out an awesome art piece so that's a positive thing <laughs> so now that i've said enough positive things about myself and my ability to paint go and check out all the other people's artwork i'm so excited to see what they created i wish you a very nice day and i'll see you next time goodbye